Hey, what's up? Steve Romanuk, chilling in Kamloops here. This is Epic TV. We've been on the Epic search for, uh, you know, beauty mountain bike lines for a couple weeks now. Pressure was on for this section because snow's coming and I wanted to really get it done before the end of this year. Missing Rampage was kind of a, a big thing for me, so completing this section is kind of what took its place. I've been just really trying to find A-grade mountain bike shots. Not trying to, you know, have any filler, just have banger lines every one after another, but we're realizing it takes a ton of work. A lot of riding, a lot of digging. You know, every move takes me a while to warm up on and actually guinea pig it. You know, so we're, we're getting at like two, three shots a day right now per move, but I mean, we're happy. It's, it's not easy. For a couple of the bigger gaps, Pete got me mic'd up and it was just kind of down on my sock there right by the bike. And we wanted to capture, you know, the kind of roll in and the, you know, it's almost like the calm before the storm as you roll in and you, everything's kind of quiet and it's smooth and then you hit the air and you pick up so much speed through the air right before you land. And I think the audio really captures that. You can hear the wind just, you know, double, triple, quadruple just right away as we drop. So that was kind of a cool part of doing the rock drop up the water. We had uh, the cable strung up quite a bit. Bjorn was coming down four or five feet away from me down the trail, just blasting down as I roost shrap in the air. Mountain biking to me, you know, it started as something that I did with friends and just something to do as an activity and for fun and for a sport and now it's you know really evolved into more of a, a lifestyle and a bit of a business. It's it's still just about having fun. It's still about those early days with the with the bros and riding hard and progressing, but it's turned into a life for me now and it's just what I do. Now you know you're on the road lots, it's gas station food, coffees, wake up early in the morning. Maybe that day you didn't really feel like riding, but you know, that particular day there's three, four guys who've all flown in to come film you, so you ride and that's kind of where it's changed. It's not like you just wake up and when you feel like you want to do a big gap, now you just, you go and do it. It's more like today the big gap is coming. <laughs> yeah. We went out to Kamloops and scoped out the line and built the line and I knew it was going to be pretty nasty. So uh, I came back home for a couple weeks just to get, you know, at home with the bike get my bike set up for the jump and ride with the bros and just get right on par. So when I went out there, I was just ready to go and felt really good on my bike and uh, ready to send it. Some of the big factors that become involved in doing a gap like this is, you know, you have to make sure your equipment's riding well. You gotta have trust in your gear. You don't want your, you know, spokes to be loose in your wheel and talk of that and go flipping over the bars or, you know, you don't want to crack in your helmet and you know you want to have gloves on you want to have your safety gear so rolling into a big jump one of the first things i do is inspect the landing make sure it's not too soft you don't want it you know concrete hard but if it's too soft you'll hit a beach box and go flipping over the bars do the old tomahawk as we like to call it and you know get up to the top have a look have a look at your line and vision how you're gonna you know nail the center of that landing whether you got a hip or corner in a bit earlier or you know, scrape the lip down because you think it's going to buck you a little bit too hard. And uh, look at the in run. Not just filming these gaps, we've really been focusing on trying to capture the speed and the in runs coming into some of these large gaps. I mean, a lot of times it'll just show the gap and people don't know what you rode down to coming into it. So a lot of a lot of the gaps we've been setting up shots where it's just you know slow mo shots tight and just showing the speed we're entering into these booters. Check it out, have some test tries, get it in your head, and then, you know, try to follow all the steps as you do it in real life. But sometimes easier said than done, but I, I would say that's the safest way of getting it done. And, and most of all, and most importantly, is just make sure you've been riding lots and it's something you want to do, not something that you're going out there to do to prove to a friend or, you know, get in a movie. It's, it's something that you want to push your own limits and progress your riding and, you know, Filming it in movies is just kind of part of what I do now, but really I grew up doing that stuff for fun. Well, the first time in the air, it's always the scariest. You know, you're scared. You're like, okay, let's just get there, survive, hold on, boom, you know, nail it. You're like, all right, that was a lot of fun, and that's kind of what it's about right there is when you land it, you just, 
all that rush and all that fear of you had of the buildup of getting to this gap and then you land it and it's like, yeah, okay, it's on. And then you normally go up there and do it again or session it or hit it every weekend. That's, that's your call. Landing that gap particularly was, you know, one of the highlights of the season for me just because I came off injury, missed the Red Bull Rampage, you know, had a tough go at it and getting back on up on the bike and going out and filming a wicked movie and you know, jumping big jumps again, it's just, it's a great feeling, you know. You feel like you're back on and you're, you're back ready to go, so. Injuries are the kind of things that can, uh, you know, set pro athletes apart. You know, some may never return after big injuries and, you know, some will and, and be fine with it and always have their confidence there, but some people get rattled and they never really come back the same. So, for me, it's been a, a good recovery. So, we're pretty much wrapping up the Segi here, signing off for Epic TV. Head back to Kelowna, wrapping up the section, kick back on the couch, snow.